Not all cruise vacations are the same. There is an increasingly diverse array of sailings for nearly every type of traveler. Luxury cruise expeditions, family-friendly voyages and even mass-market cruise lines that are more adult-oriented and, well, just a bit cheeky. Earlier this summer, I went into my first cruise vacation as an adult with an open mind, and an empty stomach. As a writer who focuses on land and air-based exploration, I'll admit that a cruise is out of my typical travel comfort zone. Beyond the floating hotel at sea concept that makes novice cruisers a bit apprehensive, a cruise required me to give someone else full control of an itinerary. In other words, much of my type of travel planning and intense oversight of a trip had to go out the window, or, in this case, out the ship's porthole. A cruise's schedule is laid out before you, day by day, hour by hour. You know which port of call you will arrive at and depart from at a given time, and there's even a daily printout of the happenings and events on board. However, it's not all handed to you on a silver platter, either, there are still quite a bit of adjustments to get that first cruise just right. Here are six lessons from my first time cruising, including costs and planning. For this trip, I went on a week-long sailing in the Mediterranean on the 1400 Cabin Valiant Lady, one of three medium-sized vessels that are sailing under Richard Branson's Virgin Voyages line. Although this specific itinerary meant many stops along the rugged French and Spanish coastline, it also prompted a very rookie mistake. Trying to do too much in one port of call. Don't try to cram in everything while on land. Not only will you be rushed, but you also won't be able to get a proper feel for a destination. On most sailings, you're only docked for a set period during the day, or, at most, one night. I learned this the hard way on one of our first port days, trying to squeeze in sightseeing the city of Nice, the medieval village of Ease and the nation of Monaco, all in one day. Yes, in hindsight, it's a clear what are you thinking moment. For cruises where you're in a place for less than 24 hours, the whole point is really to get a preview of a destination, not to fully immerse yourself. Here's what I'd recommend instead. Pick one activity say sea kayaking along the French Riviera, or explore one specific neighborhood, in my case, one city, to give yourself plenty of time to make it back to the ship. Then, next time, come back and see the rest. Cruise lines, and even specific ships, take all forms of shapes and sizes, with each having a specific vibe. Don't be fooled by a one-size-fits-all cruiser stereotype. There are the boomer cruise lines. The family cruise lines, the gay cruises, the nudist cruises, you get the idea. Virgin Voyages made a splash for being adults only since its inaugural sailing in 2021. Travelers under the age of 18 aren't allowed on board. 